So this video is from mojo.com. And from this video, we can indeed see that inventions, science, and technology has a great impact on our lives. So one example that was mentioned in the video, paper. If paper was not invented, then most probably than not, our level of education, our level of intellect at this time will not be as high as now because books, the printed paper are very important to disseminate not only information, but to help education and learning of many people. So we won't be as smart as we are right now in the modern period. Probably our level of education will still be at the level of the Middle Ages. So it's a good thing that all of this science and technology uh, were developed and having great impact in our lives today, which are we are reaping right now and benefiting from. Now, not only positive impacts, but also there will be a lot of negative things as well resulting from science and technology. So we'll be discussing here 10 emerging ethical dilemmas. I won't be discussing too deeply into this because this is part of your assignment, but suffice for me to do right now is to go through some of uh, these 10 ethical dilemma so that we can get an idea that in addition to positive impacts, there would also be problems related with science and developed technologies. The first of this ethical dilemma, and when we say dilemma problem, first of this problem would be the Helix, which is a digital app store designed to read genome. So you now have an application and the instrument that comes with it that are able to read your DNA, read your genetic makeup. So there will be a lot of problems related if people can just casually read your genetic makeup related with your genes and that will include all of your genetic deformities and etc. Another one is Bless You Too and Pepper which are the first robot priests and monks. So you don't need humans to conduct marriages and do religious routines. Three is emotion sensing facial recognition, which is a software develop, being developed to assess your reaction to anything such as shopping and playing games. So in this case, what will happen is this application will be able to read or to know what is your emotion just by reading the reaction of your faces. Number four is ransomware. This is a way of holding data hostage through hacking and requiring ransom to be paid. So what happens here is that there is a certain virus, a certain ransomware that can infect your computers. And then uh, by some trigger, it will take hold, it will take hostage. It will not allow you to use your computer. Anything you do won't make any difference. And you have to pay whoever that person is in order for you to use your computer again. That's one of the dilemmas. Another is number five, textalizer, which is a device that analyzes whether a driver was using his or her phone during an accident. So there are even software that can do that uh, in order to determine if you were using your phone during an accident. Number six is a social credit system, which is a system of scoring citizens through their action by placing them under constant surveillance, which China plans to adopt. So this is a, this is a great problem where you uh, the, the problem here is that you are constantly being monitored. There's surveillance and you can think about a lot of conspiracy theories related with constant surveillance of the people. Seven is Google, Keep, Google Clips, a hands-free camera that lets the user capture every moment effortlessly. So imagine that a person can just walk around and then uh, by using these Google Clips, also related with Google Glasses, you can record everything that is happening. And this will really be a problem with security and invasion of privacy. Sentencing software, a mysterious algorithm designed to aid courts in sentencing decisions. So to, to hasten, to make sentences faster, courts will make use of this software in order to produce a sentence and lighten the load of the courts. 
Now imagine that a defendant will be sentenced by a computer algorithm or a computer program. So this is something that is really concerning. Number nine is friend bought an app that stores the deceased digital footprint so one can still chat with them even if the person is already dead. It can still reply, it can still talk, it can still chat because of it analyzes one's, uh, the deceased one's speech pattern perhaps or the typing patterns or the word choices which allows the application to make responses more or less related with how the deceased loved one would be responding. And the last one is the citizen app, which is an app that notifies users of ongoing crimes or major events in a specific area. So these are some of the dilemmas, ethical, emerging ethical dilemmas, and of course there are many others. And this finishes our discussion today, and we'll be looking next time around and talk about Unit 2, which is entitled Historical Antecedents of Science and Technology. So I'll see you then.